Oh man. <laughs> now that's just that's just nostalgia right there. Oh man. Hey there, Ulti Zeta here, and welcome to Windows telling me that it's randomly telling I don't care about you know I always get those random Windows notifications just being like, Hey! You don't have viruses! Goodbye now! And it's like, I've always kind of hoped that, you know, it wouldn't show up in a recording. Like, because it always seemed to be well-timed enough that it wouldn't show up if I was ever doing anything. But then now it's like, Hey, you're playing Kirby! That's a great time to interrupt you, isn't it? Anyways, Kirby's epic yarn. I have not played this game since 2010 because back when it first came out I beat it I 100%ed it beat it haven't touched it since and for a long time I was just being like okay well I'm doing all the Kirby games in order including the non-traditional platformer spin-offs which is why I did canvas curves and so I was like okay well I beat squeaks I did squeak squad and so I did Superstar Ultra all the way back when, when I did Superstar. So, next up on the list is Epic Yarn. And I was like, okay, well, I can do Epic Yarn whatever I want to. And then a remake got announced. So I was like, okay, I guess I'm doing the remake then. <laughs> because I've always kind of, at least in some fashion, done the remake. I did Nightmare in Dreamland instead of Adventure, and I did Superstar Ultra alongside Superstar. So, the third Kirby remake ever came out at a perfect time for me. So, here we are. I have not ever touched, because this is lit It's like three days after this game released for me. So, I haven't actually played this version ever. So, in a way, it's kind of a weird blind let's play. But, yeah. Well... Let's just let the narrator take over, shall we? Welcome to Dreamland, a kingdom famous for peace and quiet. It's the perfect little land, if you like that sort of thing. Lately, there have been rumors of a caped sorcerer going around turning people into yarn. That's right, yarn. One day, Kirby saw his favorite food, a bright red tomato, on top of a bush down the hatch but when kirby tried to eat it a caped sorcerer appeared my name is hey what are you doing stop that no that's my magic metamato kirby gulped the metamato right down just then a white sock around the sorcerer's neck began to glow then it sucked kirby up feels funny, Kirby thought. It feels like pants. And to Kirby's surprise, he saw that his entire body was made out of yarn. Then he saw a yarn monster chasing a blue yarn boy. Somebody help me! Kirby tried to swallow the monster up. But the air went right through his body. Kirby wondered what he should do. Suddenly, Kirby transformed into a car. He drove away with the boy and left the monster behind to eat his dust. I Apparently, how, that strange metamaid gave how wonderful Kirby the was. power to seamlessly transform into a car and who knows what else. I just forgot how goofy it was. How wonderfully, wonderfully goofy. Thanks for saving me! What's that? You say you're from another world? Wow! Welcome to Patchland! You just stick with me and I'll show you the ropes! Get it? Ropes?
This is my castle, so feel free to look around here as much as you want. So, welcome to Kirby's Epic Yarn. Okay, so we got this button, we got that button. Uh, Patch Plaza. Now that's new. Okay, I'll explore that in a bit. First, we got Devilish Mode. In this challenging mode, you'll be hounded by devils as you make your way to the goal. Try to finish with as many life pieces as you can. Collect a lot and you'll unlock rewards. Uh... Sure. This is the new mode of the game that gives a health bar because one of the biggest complaints about the, first, the original game on the Wii was that there was no health bar, so everyone was like, It's too easy! How dare this game be easy! But it was fun, so I didn't care. Oh man. This is a kind of a weird sensation to me, because it's like... I really have not played this game in such a long time, but it's like... Coming back to it feels very, very natural already, immediately. It's like... Yes. Basically, it's kind of a, just a fairly traditional Kirby platformer, but... Okay. He just decided, yep, I'm, I'm out of here. I got hit by a thing. So it's the game. The game Epic Yarn is just a very cutesy, very aesthetic themed, uh, traditional Kirby platformer. I don't know if I can attack that guy. Okay. I don't like that he interrupts the music, because I love the music of this game. I don't know if I'm going to be playing him. I just wanted to see what he was like. Now, do I remember how this works? What's the optimal way of getting what you want? Let's try when it's exactly opposite. Didn't seem like it was that. Oh well, I already got a gold medal. Uh, just for reference, I'm not going to be going for 100% in this game. I mean, I will eventually do it on my own, but on my own time. I just... I don't feel like it's worth going for 100% in every Kirby game. I'm just going to mainly focus on doing it for the mainline Kirby games. Ooh. Okay, so that's an, that's definitely a thing. I gotta do devilish mode if I want 100% the game because there's 250 thingamahoos. It's... Thanks for your help, the blue yarn boy said. Not that I needed it. I'm Prince Fluff. Ever since Yin Yarn the Sorcerer ripped Patchland into seven pieces, you just can't go anywhere without running into these horrible... But Fluff was interrupted when they were attacked by a huge three-eyed blob of yarn. Ew, gross, stop it! But before the blob could eat Prince Fluff, Kirby transformed and smashed it to smithereens in a most spectacular fashion. Among the little blob bits, there was a shimmering piece of spiraling yarn. That's it. That's the magic yarn, Fluff exclaimed. This was what Prince Fluff had been looking for. Yin Yarn had stolen the magic yarn from Patchland. And now the world gets fixed. Although my question is, 
That big blah monster. Would, if he tried to eat Prince Fluff, wouldn't Prince Fluff have just gone right through him because he's made yarn? Weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched oh well. pieces of Patchland together. What about the other pieces? I've got to find the rest of them. Kirby, always happy to help, decided to help his friend recover the missing pieces. And the two began their journey to stitch Patchland back together. Kirby's such a nice guy. He's a friendly, happy boy, and he's going to eat everything, except he can't eat anything. It's a Kirby game where you don't eat. Now, I don't know what I'm going to be doing in this first episode, because I'm very curious what this new patch plaza thing is. So let's find out. Oh, this is just the menu. Thing about who's it? I see. I don't know what a fuse beat is though. It says D D D though. So my guess is that's gonna be something to do with. Uh, the DDD minigame that's new to this thing that was on the main menu that I just ignored. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna show that or when, but I, pro I, I probably will at least give it a shot on video. Let's talk to this fellow. Prince Fluff, what an unexpected surprise. Oh, and who might your friend here be? Lord Kirby, you say? He is visiting, visiting us from another world, you say? How exciting. My name is Dom Wool, and it is my pleasure to make your acquaintance. Lord Kirby is helping you save our beloved Patchland? Oh, that's just wonderful. I am the manager of Quilty Court here. Please come inside for a moment. I insist. So, Kirby owns an apartment in this game. You can decorate it out with furniture. Welcome to your new home. Well, I suppose it's not much to look at just yet, but I would honor to be honored to have one of Prince Fluff's guests staying here. I'm going to drop a chair on your head now. A proper home must be properly furnished. Please accept this as a gift from me. Feel free to furnish your new place in whatever way you desire. We'll discuss the rent later. Go ahead and enjoy the space. If you have any questions, I'll be around. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I hear one of my other tenants walking by outside. So I've been told that, uh, the doing this stuff is like more robust than it used to be. But I also don't really remember what it used to be like to begin with. So. I don't know. That's, uh, the collectibles you get throughout the, each level give you more furniture for your, for your pad. At least they did before. So I'm gonna assume it's kind of the same thing. There are also going to be other tenants that you can interact with and find. And you can give them some of your furniture to get them to stick around. And then you get mini games to play with them. So that's cool and fun and unique and stuff and whatever. So welcome to Grassland, the first real world of the game. I don't think I'm going to be doing devilish mode for most of this, because I, 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 if nothing else, I just kind of want to have the music playing. <laughs> I don't like that the music cuts out when Mr. Devilman shows up. Because the music in this game, like, oh man. Tomoyo Demita is freaking amazing. What the heck is this thing? This is a new thing. I have a thing on my head, what does it do? 
I just make stuff. Cool. Haha. <laughs> These are new things introduced in Extra Epic Yarn. Uh, that... Uh... Their little hats, their abilities, I think. I don't know the actual name, but they're, they're basically just like, hey, you have abilities now in this game, because that was another thing people complained about, I think, that there weren't abilities in epic, extra epic yarn, in e regular epic yarn, so now they are added it in extra epic yarn. Words are hard when there's lots of E's. I'm just having a good time. <laughs> Um, it feels good to play this game again, honestly, because it had, I really haven't played it since 2010, but it, this is what I remember. This is Kirby's Epic Yarn, but on the 3DS. It's kind of weird, because it's like, in, a, in, in its own way, it's like, technically... I think this is the first Kirby remake to ever be, like, a downgrade in visuals, because the Wii wasn't exactly amazing visually, but it was, like, this is the, it's still better than the 3DS. Oh my, okay, it's, I'm having a hard time not being car. Uh, those things are what add to the roulette at the, at the end of the level, by the way. So, like, if you collect all three, then you get lots of things. Uh, you want to collect beads because you get rewarded for it with, like, medals and stuff. And those do count for 100%. So I'm going to be trying to do the best I can. Like, I'm not going to ignore stuff. If I don't get a thing, then... So be it, I won't get at that thing. But that doesn't mean I'm not gonna try, because hey, means less work for me later on, later down the line. Stop being car. Thank you. And honestly, if you kind of just try and breeze through everything... Oh, hi, Prince Fluff. What the hell are you doing here? Prince Fluff was originally a... Uh, multiplayer. You could play this game two-player, one... Player 1 was Kirby, and Player 2 was Prince Fluff. I guess now he just gives you a gem. So that's nice. I got a fountain. Into the pants we go! This sky feels funny. It feels like trousers. This, ga this game just makes me smile. Like... Honestly, like, it's not the best Kirby game, but it is a good Kirby game. I remember when this game first came out and everybody was like, Oh my god, Kirby's saying Poyo! Anime is canon! Anime is canon! And it's like... It, I remember how, like, there were also people who were like, really angry and vehemently being like, NO! It's not! The anime is not canon! <laughs> and like... It's just Kirby noises to me, like, I don't... I don't have strong feelings one way or the other. It's... it works, and so... Kirby can say whatever he wants, because he's good. Okay, that beep beep is gonna get annoying eventually, because... I become car very often, apparently. But yeah, I haven't really, like, explained a lot of the intricacies of this game, but I feel like it's pretty obvious. You got a whip, you, you whack up enemies like in Kirby 64. I'm gonna eat their love. But it's okay. I'll keep them alive. They can make a new love. And now we become Giant Tank! With Kirby's Dreamland Remix music! If I recall correctly, this is actually a version of the song from Kirby Air Ride.
I could be r wrong about that, but I think that's how it goes. Anyway, since I haven't gotten hit yet, I should I should say uh, getting hit in this game under normal circumstances will just make you drop gems, and then you can just pick them back up. Like so. Thank you for clarifying me. I'm surprised that hit me. So, like, in that regard, that can make the game a bit... tricky. If you do, do go for the gold medals, but otherwise it's just kind of... Yep. I remembered. It's right... Don't do it. There we go. It... You want to do it right before the notch on the left hits the red thing. So like I hit I hit it right when it was when it was still spinning. The notch bef the, the notch on the left of the red thing. It, it, whatever. It makes sense to me and hopefully it makes sense to you. You found the butterfly patch. I'm going to butterfly all over you. I'm excited to be playing this game again. It's just a nice game. Okay. So, basically by saying a butterfly patch, it's basically like, Hey, you unlocked a new level, so go to that level. The butterflies unlocked flower fields for us. And actually, it looks like on the bottom screen, I can just warp to a level. Yeah, that's really useful. If you if you don't really want to traverse like this little map thing, you can just kind of pop into a level. That's nice. I like that. I don't remember if the Wii version had anything like that. Might have it might have been like a pause menu of some kind. Uh, there's amiibo support in this game. I can't use it because I don't only have an I don't have the adapter thing, and I don't have a new 3DS. I only have a 3DS XL. I really, really should have bought a new 3DS capture cards just so I could do that kind of stuff. I don't need two 3DS XLs. But I'm stupid and now Cats and Kitty's dead, so I can't get another one. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I don't know, maybe Loopy will do something. Anyways, Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn, everybody. Next time on Let's Play Kibber, we will be going to Flower Fields. And I might have a different thing on my head that time. Phew! <laughs>